What is up guys, Zan from the Zan Madden YouTube channel. In today's video, we're gonna show you guys how to get in the huddle. I mean, not literally in the huddle, but basically in the huddle by looking at on-field visual cues. But before we do that, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Also make sure you guys hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of the updates coming your way here on the Zan Madden YouTube channel. If you guys wanna watch me play Madden 20 Live, you guys can check me out on the Twitch platform, twitch.tv slash Zan Madden. The link is in the description below. And I do have exclusive subscriber-only content for my tier one and Twitch Prime subscribers. My tier two subscribers will get my Washington Redskins Hot Route Master offense on top of those sub tips that go out every single Friday. Okay, guys, without further ado, let's get into today's tip. I think today is a really good video for you guys. Uh, this might be some stuff that you guys know if you're a little bit higher level player. Uh, we did a video just the other day on speeding up your adjustments pre-snap. The link is also in the description if you guys want to reference that. We showed you guys how to speed up your line adjustments without having your quarterback pointing all over the field. Today's video is going to be on the defensive side of the ball, picking up visual cues that can help you predict route combinations as the game goes on. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to come out in the gun empty base flex. I am on offense with just the offensive controller here. We're in an actual game. If you guys want to test this out, you need to do it in game because there are no quarterback pointing animations or wide receiver pointing animations in practice mode. So we're going to go ahead and just come out in whatever play I want. And we're going to talk game theory here. So we are in a spread formation. And what I want to kind of talk about is these quarterback pointing animations. So you guys know that they spent a lot of time this year showing quarterbacks and, you know, pointing animations in general. So what you may notice is that every single time you hot route, the quarterback does some sort of animation. But did you guys know that the wide receiver that you are actually hot routing will also animate? So this is information that the defense can use to pick up on order tendencies. So let's say that you're in a set and for whatever reason, uh, you know, you're facing, you're on the, you're on the defense, you're the Packers here, and you're facing a route combination. You're not exactly sure what your opponent is going to throw your way. But as the game goes on, you can pick up visual cues as to what your opponent is doing based off of order of operation. So what I'm talking about is let's say that the first thing you notice is that they put Allen Robinson on a route. So I want you to watch Allen Robinson. I'll hot route him to a route. He goes ahead and he turns his head and kind of looks at the quarterback like, okay, coach, got you. Uh, next thing they do is the second thing. They go ahead and say, Trey Burton, the A receiver, I want you to run a drag. Watch how Trey Burton says, okay, he swings his arm out and puts his arm out. Maybe the third thing that you notice is that the outside receiver on the right says, okay, I'm going to animate. So now what you should be logging in your head is first adjustment was Robinson. Second adjustment was Burton. Third adjustment was the outside receiver. And this is the route combination that they ended up running when they snapped the ball. So they snapped the ball. And for whatever reason, they, you know, I get sacked, whatever. doesn't matter. It's not really a, a play snap tip. It's more of a, a pre-snap tip. So you figure out that, okay, that was the route combination they ran. So later on, let's just say that, you know, we're going to the third quarter. Now we're in the third quarter and they come out, they're in this same set and you see Allen Robinson does something first, Trey Burton does something second, and B receiver does something third. You looked at all of them, they all animated as I made those adjustments. Now you know, oh, hey, they're going back to that same play that I remember early on. How does this apply to the meta? So let's say that you're facing whatever offense, trips tied in, gun bunch, tight offset tight end whatever. You're going to be able to figure out roll outside. You're going to be able to figure out who's running hitches. You're going to be able to figure out things because Madden players are creatures of habit. They all set up their plays the exact same way, no matter whether or not it's offense or defense. Every single person has traits. It's basically a poker face. You know, uh, you, you run things a specific way because you have trained your mind to do things in a specific order. It might not be something you consciously think about, but it's something you're going to do without thinking. So when you are facing somebody that's in bunch and you notice that, you know, for whatever reason, the first time when they run a corner route play where they're rolling out and throwing a corner route, the first person they adjust is the middle receiver in the bunch. That should be a cue that the next time that they come out in bunch, if you see that guy pat his head or point or whatever, and then the next order is the next, you know, the same thing that you saw earlier, you're going to see all those things and you're going to be able to log them. So while this tip isn't like, hey, here's a crazy setup that brings pressure or, hey, here's an amazing coverage that locks down the field, I still think this tip should be very, very informational for you guys from a tendency standpoint. You might be able to link an order of operations for a setup to an actual outcome and then be able to lurk that route later in the game. So if you guys like this video, please make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. I know it's more of a, you know, a higher level uh 
grasp, you know, grasping game theory type of video and less about, you know, put this guy on a drag and streak this guy. But hopefully this was an informational video for you guys. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, or complaints, be sure to drop them below in the comments and we'll see you guys tomorrow with our next upload. Until then, this is Zan. Get in the lab and good luck.